In this video, we're going to look at the evolution of OVO's dark R&B sound. To do this, we're going to make three beats, each inspired by a different OVO album. Start with Drake's Take Care. Tracks like Crew Love, Marvin's Room, and Doing It Wrong perfectly embody the dark R&B sound Forty and Drake were going for. Take Marvin's Room, for example. Cups that are rose. The main element driving the song is the combination of a rich synth pad with some emotional R&B chords, something like this. Another song I mentioned earlier is Doing It Wrong. Much like Marvin's Room, it's a simple track based around some emotional synth chords. To bring in some high end, Forty added another synth on top that only plays on the last chord in the progression. Now we have the melodic elements, we need some drums. In this interview, Forty famously said, People usually assume that it's a, a low pass filter. Um, and then I'm just rolling off all the top end, but for the most part, I'm actually degrading the sample rate. And this is something you can hear once again on Marvin's Room. To do this, I found some drum samples, opened up Edison, and lowered the sample rate. As you'll hear on the snare, it gives a much more unique sound as opposed to just filtering it out with a low pass. To progress the drums a bit further, Forty layered in some extra percussive sounds. It has a higher sample rate than the original snare to allow a bit more high end to come in. To finish off this beat, I wanted to look at Crew Love and see how we could use it to inspire an intro section. First, I wanted to do something like the soft electric piano underneath the weekend's vocals. Speaking of vocals, I added this vocal chop, not quite the weekend, but it definitely helps fill those frequencies, and also this texture loop and a melodic accent. And finally, we couldn't study Crew Love without adding some kind of drum fill. So I chopped another effect sound, added some kick rolls and this hi-hat, leaving us with this final beat. Two years after the release of Take Care, Drake introduced Party Next Door as the first recording artist signed to OVO Sound. On July the 1st, 2013, Party released his debut mixtape Party Next Door, also known as P1. The project is almost entirely self-produced and much like Take Care, carries a sound that still sounds fresh even nine years down the line. Break from Toronto is widely regarded as a classic because of the ethereal Miguel sample. This was saga feel like in the night time. Watch what she do when the light shine. And over here is the perfect showcase for PND's melodic capabilities. Mm, girl, this you'll be looking for. for this beat, I wanted to start off by replicating the airy synth pad floating in the background of over here. Underneath that, you can faintly hear a Rhodes playing the same chords. It's very quiet and tucked away, but this definitely adds to the depth of the beat. Next, we had to try and replicate the vocal sample from Break From Toronto. If you listen to the song, you'll notice that Party chopped the sample to be very repetitive in the verse sections. So I just chopped one little part of a splice vocal loop and put it in the beat. Now we have the main part of the beat, let's add some drums. P1 has a lot of hard hitting snares and kicks alongside some more ambient percussion and simple hi-hats.
After that, I added what seems to be Party's favorite 808, a sub and a hard kick to go with it. These style of drums are very different to what Drake used on Take Care. This really shows Party Next Door's influence and how the sound of R&B was changing. Starting to introduce harder drums that maybe you'd hear more often in rap music. Last but not least, we're going to be looking at Waking at Dawn by Roy Woods. This project takes clear influence from PND and Drake, but it still manages to have its own unique sound. Take Got Me, for example. The beat has Take Care inspired drums mixed with P1 inspired synth pads and bass lines. One Big Up Yourself has a completely different island influenced instrumental. And Switch, my personal favorite from the album, provides a dark, introspective beat for Roy to sing over. And this is where I want to begin. The track starts with a soft pad and an arpeggiated bell, similar to what you might hear on P1. Quick tip for the bell, if you select the slide button, it's gonna give you a really cool, unique sound. I talked about the island influence on Guan Pick Up Yourself earlier, but it also subtly introduces itself on other songs on the project, mainly when it comes to percussion. On how I feel, there are lots of almost tribal percussive sounds. She wanna go far, so I told little mama go along. And on She Knows About Me, there's a shaker on top of the main hi-hat. Eight of the 10 tracks on Waking at Dawn have a synth bass in them. Some are softer and filtered like on Got Me. And some are big and aggressive like on Switch. And this is what we went for as it best fits the vibe of our beat. Another element to take from Guan Big Up Yourself is the synth lead that appears in the hook section. It really stands out from the softer, real instruments that were used on that beat. Again, for the drums, I want to take from Switch. We have some fast double time hi hats with a change in velocity, some hard punchy kicks, and a punchy snare as well. To finish it all off, I took inspiration from Sonic Boom, which has a filtered perk loop in the intro section, which leaves us with this final beat. Let me know in the comments which beat was your favorite, and I'll see you in the next one.